Okay, so this is section 9.1, number 25. Uh, the 2010 census reported that 41.9% of the households in a city were homeowners and the remainder were renters. During the next decade, 13.8% of the homeowners became renters and the rest continued to be homeowners. Similarly, 11.5% of the renters became homeowners and the rest continued to rent. Okay, I'm seeing two circles here, homeowner and renters. Okay, and so let's see. During the next decade, 13% of the homeowners became renters so homeowners became renters that's 0.138 and the rest continue to be homeowners okay so well crap grab my calculator <laughs> Let's take 1 minus 0.138, and that is 0 0.862, 0 0.862, okay. All right, and then similarly, 11.5% of the renters became homeowners, so renters over to homeowners, that's 0.11. Five, and the rest continued to rent. So rent back to rent. Uh, take one whole minus point one one five, and that is point eight eight five. Okay, so. We're going to have a matrix that is homeowners, renters, homeowners, renters, and then H to H, that was the light blue. H to H, so 0 0.862 goes there. H to R was the pink. So 0.138, and then R to H, R to H is the green, so 0.115, and then R to R is the purple, so 0.885. Okay, so the first part of my math lab, let me pull that up here, says... Fill in the appropriate transition matrix for this Markov process. Let me do a split screen here. Boop. Okay. And so I need to just make this bigger. There we go. All right. So I got to click on this box and I need to do a matrix that is two by two. We're good to go. Let's see, type an integer or a decimal. It doesn't tell me to round off. So 0 0.862, 0 0.138, 0 0.115, and 0.885. Excellent. Okay. Then it says, according to this transition matrix, what percent of households were homeowners in 2020? Okay, let me go back to this. Um, in 2010, all right. In, let me go with bright yellow here. Doot. In 2010, the census reported that 41% of the household in the city were homeowners and the remainders were renters. And then it goes on to say that during the next decade, during, during the next decade, that would be 2020. So 
we have an initial state matrix from 2010 that says 41% of the households in the city were homeowners and the rest were renters. So 0.419 goes right there and then take one minus 0.419 and that gives you 0.581. And so this over here is my P and then it says in the next decade, um, is that 10 years later? Is that 10 years later or one year later? So I need to take S sub zero times P to the 10th. Are we doing this by years? That's 10 years later, but is a decade their time period? I'm just going to go with S sub zero times P and say P to the first is one decade later because it just says during the next decade. So we're going to give this a shot. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to pause this for a second while I put this in my calculator. Okay. So when I did this, I ended up getting 0.427993 and 0 0.572007 and what does my math lab say? My math lab says round to the nearest tenth as needed. According to the transition matrix, what percentage household, okay, so this is my householders and this is my renters. So you'd have to move the decimal two places to the right making that 42 point and then that is the number I'm going to round to but because that's a 9 the 7 becomes an 8 so let's go with 42.8 percent and see what happens yes okay so a decade I guess is the time they're talking about and then if the transition 2040 okay 2040 <sighs> 2040 would be 2040, so 2010. 2020 was one decade, 2030 is two decades, so 2040 would be three decades later. So just grab your calculator again and take my one by two times my two by two, but raise it to the third power and this time I see